Hi guys and welcome back to Nifty Challenge. So today's free technical analysis class and uh, in the previous classes on the first class we learned a single candle that was a doji is a very important thing. Uh, we have seen the videos. Then we moved on to engulfing candles and we moved on to harami candles and then I came to the piercing line and dark cloud cover. And now this is an important pattern. This is basically on the previous one you learn with one candle then two candles then three candles and now this is basically a fourth candle trading which you call a three candle bullish pattern so we decide the trade after the third candle in these kind of patterns so as usual i'll be explaining you how to see these cat uh, patterns what are the pros and cons what are the positives when you can avoid it when you should when do they fail when do they succeed what are the targets what are the stop losses as usual that nobody tells you but i do and uh, we'll be seeing it on the charts and how to trade on such patterns so the first uh, one which in, i'll be covering in this video probably is it be a long one it'll be a three candle bullish pattern and we call it a evening star pattern or a evening star doji pattern evening doji star pattern so these are two different ones and i will explain it to you one by one coming to the charts so first I will come to the chart of Nifty. Now see what happens in this candle is that uh, this is formed after a big uh, bullish candle. Basically uh, there is a good uh, bullish candle that has formed. You can see this one for the time being. So what happens that on the first day there is a big bullish candle. Then on the second day what happens so this you will call as a first day candle. What you say on the third day happens is that uh, there is a gap up opening. Now this is very important. Maybe this is not the right one which I am showing you. But the important thing is that uh, after the first day when the second day candle is formed it has to be a gap up opening and it has to be higher than this day this candle the closing has to be higher. Now this is also important to note that this doesn't matter whether this candle will be a green candle or it will be a red candle only thing is it should be a much smaller candle compared to the mother candle which you call compared to the first candle this should be a much smaller candle on this pattern now just a moment let me let me use this one as a better example because this is showing a gap of opening so what happens on the first day there is a green candle the second day is a gap up candle now even here you see the shadows are quite longer so this is not a very strong pattern so the smaller will be the shadows on this second candle these are the shadows the wicks video call if they are smaller and the candle is small then it is more strong as a pattern of three candles so the first candle is a bu bullish candle the second candle is no matter it is a bullish or a bearish candle doesn't matter but it has to be a smaller candle compared to this and it has to be a gap up opening that is very important two points that you must note down <clears throat> so what happens on the third day now on the third day the candle is engulfing the bearishness of the first candle i'm sorry this is a evening star is a is a bearish pattern i will just change it i've written it wrong so evening star is a bearish pattern morning star is a bullish pattern basically just a moment let me change this first so this is a three candle bearish and the bullish pattern we are discussing on the bearish pattern first so this is an evening star pattern so the first candle is a big green the second candle is a higher candle now this is important that it opened gap up see the closing here was uh, 12100 zero, zero. The opening here is at 12132. So make sure the opening is higher than the first candle on the second candle. Now what happened on the third day? No matter wherever it opens, it opens here, it opens here, it opens here, it doesn't matter. But this candle should be below the should end below the 60% of the first candle. This is the most important thing that you should note down, and this is where the pattern fails. So what happened here it opened on a higher note and it gave a fall and this closing has engulfed at least 60% of the third candle. Now what do you do in this case on the fourth day is a bearish day that is 100% confirmed in this case the fourth day is a bearish day but only if you will still not sell till the time it is below this area of the third candle this is to be noted down as a very important point on this pattern. So what happens on the first day let us note down the first day let me start putting the text and you can learn these things 
so the first candle is a big green candle second candle is smaller candle now this can be green or red doesn't matter the third candle is engulfing the first candle at least 60% this is very important in bearishness okay i hope you're noting that down something went wrong just a moment let us take this one as an example so the first candle is a big green candle the second candle has opened up and given a small candle and the third candle has covered at least 60% of the first candle very important now how do you trade on these candles what happens on the fourth day no matter wherever it will open the moment it has come down to 60% of this candles value you can go for a selling this can be applicable for a stock can be applicable for an index can be applicable for many things I'm sure you will do your homework you will search many stocks with it and you will come oh I think I opened some wrong charts great Britain pound never mind we'll just learn the pattern in here only so how do you go about this is your selling point is below the third day's low your target no, let us see your stop loss I will just tell you and your point value and your target so in this case let's see what is the point value so the point value is the up and down of the third day candle not the first day not the second day so on this third day candle you see here the high is 1.2215 let us take it as an example I'm sorry the chart is missing here I want to stop the video so it's 1.2215 and the low is 1.2050 1.2215 so the value is of uh, 0 0.0165 0 0.0165 this is your point value your stop loss will be the 50% of the first candle so your first candle high is 1.2261 plus that is 1.214 will be your stop loss in this case in case you have missed out so this candle the 50 percent value of this candle will be your stop loss because once any anyway you can take a stop loss here also it doesn't matter because uh, where you will sell is only below this third day's low so once this was the low i can take or even here you can sell if you're on a more safer side once it has opened see on the next day it has opened in this area the moment it has come below this area you can go for a selling and put a stop loss right here so you did a selling here at approximately 1.2094 this is where you sold so your selling point is 1.2094 and you will have a target from here the range of this candle which was 0 0.0165 so it will be 1.2094 minus 0 0.165 that will be a target of 1.1929 so see what happens here the stock comes here on the third day it has the moment it has broken the third day is low at 1.209 you see that the fall comes and the target comes to much lower than 1.1929 it is already at 1.894 but you see how the patterns work 
I hope you have understood the formula. I hope you have been noted down the selling point. So once again, I will remind you: the first day is a big green candle. The second day is a smaller candle compared to first day. It can be very small shadows also. This is still bigger, and it has to be a gap up opening. That is the most important thing. On the third day, there is a bearishness, but this bearishness has to cover at least sixty percent of the first candle, and you will sell right when on the fourth day. when this low of the third day is broken that is where you can go for a sell with a stop loss at 50% of the first candle and you will achieve your target 100% let's see on a chart i was just monitoring the chart of the reliance let's see here see what happened a big green candle next day opening a small green candle on the third day it has covered at least 50% it did not cover 60% but it did cover almost 60% here in this area you see on the third day it was not performing on the fourth day so let us not count it let us see it somewhere else let us see it here now this is a doji pattern i will explain you about the doji star let me see it here somewhere else where i can find it yeah this one you can see a big green candle followed by a smaller candle followed by the third day it gave down on the fourth day also if it happens once it has engulfed this bearishness of the mother candle you can go for a sell below this area below 60% and then you see an excellent fall comes and if you calculate the target is already achieved here 100% now let us come to the doji pattern in this case evening doji star pattern what happens on the second day is a doji that is formed instead of a gap up candle it now in this case it doesn't matter it has to open gap up or not but after a big green candle when on the second day a doji is formed then you see for the next few days the moment this continues with the bearishness on the doji the moment it has engulfed the 60% of the first candle you can go for selling and on a longer run you will definitely achieve your target you see you have achieved it here okay Mm, i hope you can see more examples you see even this is a good sign but it took some time usually it, it usually happens on the third on the fourth day itself the bearishness comes uh, let me see if i can more if you see see this here see the first candle is a big green candle the second candle was a small red candle smaller to this on a higher opening if you notice and then the third day when the bearishness engulfed on the fourth day you will sell right at the low of this candle you sold it here and you can see you have got excellent profits here i hope you are understanding it and i hope you will utilize it thank you so much and i will cover in the next video a bullish pattern on the same way it's just basically the opposite but i'll still make a video and you will definitely be able to understand it better thank you so much please do your homework check these stocks check some stocks where you can find these patterns make sure to remember the important things where these pattern fail the important thing where the pattern fail is when the opening is not gap up even point one per point is not gap up even it is almost similar or very smaller or closer then you should avoid it on the third day it has given only a wick but not a closing now this is also something very important the closing should be 60% not a wick see that is why on the fourth day it made a bullish candle this is a confusing this is a right good example of confusing on this pattern on the third day it did not cover 60% of this candle it did cover on the wick but it did not cover on the closing so unless and until it will close on the basis of below 60% of this first candle it will not be bearish this is where you can avoid such patterns Thank you so much and have a nice weekend guys thank you